Today we're going to talk about the Burl family. The Burl family is an entire family of minerals and it often gets confused with the corundum family and people mix them up back and forth. And we're, we're going to keep the corundum family separate and do it another day, but today we're going to talk about the Burl family. So the Burl family is, is very much used in gemstones, but it's also the main ore of uh, beryllium. And so beryllium, here's a rod of beryllium. This is from uh, up in Oregon. This one's uh, three-ninths pure, which means 99.9% .9 pure beryllium. I keep it in a tube like this because beryllium is super toxic in this form. Beryllium is used uh, to make alloys, especially uh, with copper and, and other, other me uh, metals, but uh, it, it doesn't spark. It's super hard and it doesn't spark, and so it makes it a very important metal for a lot of different things. Hammers, if you need a non-sparking hammer, say like in a coal mine, or a gas field, then you're probably using a beryllium copper alloy hammer. Beryllium also has a, a, a property that allows it to not heat up. You can take a torch and put it to this rod here until it's glowing cherry red. Take the torch away, turn it off, and by the time you've done that, you can pick up the rod because it will not absorb the heat. So that, that makes it important for a number of other applications. Uh, one of the most important ones is the disc brakes in jetliners. So they, we need something that would heat, take that kind of heat and pressure without get overheating, and beryllium was the perfect metal. Uh, it's also used in computer hard drives. It's the little arm that goes in between the, the disks, the, the, the silicon disks themselves, the, the readers, and uh, it acts as the reader, and they use that because it's non-magnetic. It doesn't have any magnetic properties whatsoever, and it's super light and super strong. In fact, it's about 10 times stronger than steel and only weighs about a 16th of steel. So. It's an important strategic metal. It's used in the guidance systems of missiles, especially ICBMs. The big guidance system that's in the, the, the gyro that's in the front of those. It's this great big metal gyro and only weighs like a pound. So it's pretty cool. So, but when it's in gem form, then we get, uh, when it's green and then in gem form, we get emeralds. And this is an emerald. This one is from Colombia. This one's too small to facet. And here's one that has been faceted. It's a nice big stone, probably about 12 carats. When it is blue, it's an aquamarine. I'm gonna take this one out. This is an, actually an aquamarine from here in Utah that was faceted back in the 70s. You can see that, that light blue color. And here is an aquamarine crystal, a cluster of crystals. And this is from Pakistan, obviously, and uh, this is a Utah aquamarine. Yeah, the Utah aquamarine is very rare, uh, very hard to come by in this quality and color. Heliodor, or golden burl, is the yellow variety of the burl family. It is, in this case, both of these are aquamarines that have been heat treated to turn them into Heliodor. Heliodor does form naturally, but it's pretty rare. And once it's been heat treated and faceted into a gemstone, it is impossible to tell if it was natural or uh, heat induced. There's a, uh, a, little, a little one. I bought this one as a natural one. It's indistinguishable, you can't tell. There's no test you can do on it to tell if it's been heat treated or not. If the burl is pink, then we call it morganite. This is twin morganite crystals that have grown together. These ones are from Brazil. It's become a very popular stone in wedding rings lately to have a, a, a pink cushion cut morganite. because It has a very, very subtle pink color into it once it's faceted. It makes it very unique looking. Colorless burl is known as goshenite. So this has no colors in it, but this one has a little tiny heliodor crystal growing right out the top of it. And we know that's a natural heliodor and not heat treated because the rest of the burl would have been turned yellow as well. And then my favorite of all the burl family is the red burl. The red burl, gem quality red burl is only found here in Utah, nowhere else in the world. This is a little twin crystal. These are exceptionally unusual. This is from the, the Violet Claim down the Wawa Mountains. This is a a bigger crystal from down there. This is a faceted red beryl. So as a gemstone, this stuff sells for as much as 10 times the price of diamonds. Yeah, the only deposit of it's here in Utah, nowhere else in the world. So that's a red beryl grown in a lab in Russia. This is an, uh, a, an emerald, a green emerald, also grown in the same lab. Thanks for watching. These videos are brought to you by our real estate business, uh, the Crystal Barista. The collectible real estate and gym quality real estate, all empowered by the Stern team at Keller Williams Real Estate. If you like this video, like and subscribe below for more videos coming. We will have more coming about rocks, gems, minerals, fossils, and lapidary. Thanks.